Hey, 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 Action Jacqueline here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Alopecia Princess channel. I hope you guys are doing great. You probably noticed that my last three videos have pretty much been dedicated to swimming in wigs. So today I'd like to answer you guys' questions. Um, I do receive a lot of questions when I film myself swimming on the beach because people are so surprised that it's something that can be done. A lot of people who wear wigs completely avoid water situations altogether. I know a lot of you um, avoid roller coasters and anything that will basically put you in an embarrassing situation. And I get it. I get it. Uh, the problem with that is you're not living your best life. I can't imagine a summer that goes by and I can't get in the water. Just watching people splash and play. That's not me. I want to get in there and I want to splash and play too. So I want to help you guys do that. So I opened up a forum where uh, you guys could ask some questions about how to go about swimming in wigs without losing your wig <laughs> in the middle of the ocean or in the pool. I'm going to go ahead and find a nice place to park. I'll read the questions to you and I will provide the best possible answers that I can give you based on my own experience. First off, I want to apologize. You guys hear noise. I'm not far away from the highway and it's like motorcycle season. <laughs> so there's like motorcycles going by like crazy. So in case you were wondering right now, I'm wearing uh, the Buddy Lace Unit number six by Sensational. So a little background. I grew up with a pool in my backyard. So I had a lot of opportunity to figure out what works and what doesn't with regard to swimming in a wig. Okay, so the first question, the person who wrote this question knows who she is and how important she is to me. Um, she asks, um, do you wear human wig while swimming in the water? Uh, she says she wears synthetics but is afraid to damage a human hair wig with salt water. Last year, I was wearing human hair wigs all year long. So when I went swimming, naturally, I swam in that human hair wig. Um, the results, beachy wave that I cannot emulate any other way. So I'm usually very, very happy with how my hair looks after I swam in the ocean in a human hair wig. After a day or so, it'll start feeling sticky and you'll know that it's dirty, you know, and it needs to be washed. At that point, just give it a really, really good conditioner. Um, I like using Olaplex, especially after rigorous wear of a human hair wig. It's very expensive though. So, you know, you gotta treat it like gold and like, use as little as possible. But yeah, give it a nice Olaplex treatment. You don't even have to use Olaplex. Sometimes I just use whatever conditioner they have at the hotel and I just use like a whole lot of it. I will say, if you're swimming in the wig every day, I definitely make sure that the wig that I wear to swim in is not my favorite wig. Okay, so the next question that I was asked um, was by a person named JF1. She asked, have you been swimming in a wefted wig? Um, and she wants to know, do the cats stretch out after wearing that wefted wig all day while wet? Um, so to answer that question, Yes, <laughs> if you wear your wig all day while it's wet, it will stretch. However, um, how much stretching can it really do? It's not like your head grew in the water, you know what I mean? It's still gonna be the same size as your head. What, what will make it misshape is if you start doing a lot of tugging at the wig, like, you know, combing and brushing it while it's wet. So I recommend after you get out the water, um, Give it a good comb through one time and then don't bother it anymore. Just, you know, toss it back or leave it on one side of your head. Next part of the question was, have you found any products to keep the nape of the wig down? This is a really good one because I think that um, as you start getting more and more into water sports, that's when you start really worrying that your wig is going to come off in the water. Um, and so you'll probably want to glue down the nape part of the wig. What I normally do is I'll take the wig and instead of trying to glue it to the nape of my neck, which is like right around here, I will push the wig up a little bit and then apply the glue like right here. 
if you try to glue it to the nape, the constant movement of your head is going to make it separate from your skin. The final question that I want to address is from my bestie, TT, Tanya. Um, she asks, have you ever had any experiences where your wig came off in public while swimming? And how did I handle it? <laughs> TT is hilarious. She knows the answer to that question because she was actually with me when I had a very embarrassing experience. I was actually on my second date with my now husband. The bestie was with me. You know, I'm going to do a story time. I'm not going to tell you all about it. But yes, I did. And that only occurred because I had this false sense of confidence. I went in that ocean that day with no tape, no glue, no nothing. And well, yeah, the, the waves got to me. Uh, so <laughs> moving right along, let me just go into my own notes. First thing I want to say is when you decide to wear a wig while swimming, you want to pick a wig that is very full. Now they have all these light wigs. They're really nice because they, they're not too full and they look more natural. However, in the water, it looks thinner and then you risk being able to see wefts through your wig. I prefer to wear lace wigs all the time. Um, you'll notice that when you're swimming and you have to move that hair out of your face, it's really nice to be able to have um, parted so that, you know, you can kind of like move that wig around without worrying your edges are showing. And it's not going to be your best wig. Here, here's the thing, you can get a synthetic wig at the beauty supply store and it'll cost you like 60 bucks, you know? If you can, if, if it's in your budget to do that, use that as your um, swim wig. Okay, so ponytails. I think a lot of people would like to tie their hair up while swimming uh, to hide the wefts. I think that's a bad idea based on my experience. When you have your hair tied up, it tends to unevenly distribute the weight of the wig. So if your hair is in a ponytail and you go into the water and your ponytail goes flying in that direction, this heavy ponytail, which is now weighted with the weight of the water, can potentially pull your wig off of your head. Um, if your wig is glued down, it should hold it, but you just don't need that, you don't need that tugging because you never know. You know what I mean? So I would say just leave the hair out and swim. Do you have to worry about your wefts showing? I guess. Um, do I worry about it? No, and that's probably because I've kind of passed that stage. I've been swimming with my husband, been swimming with my kids, been swimming with friends. From time to time, I'll ask them, like, is my wefts showing? And they'll be like, no. So I don't know if they're lying to me just to make you feel better or not, but it, it hasn't been a thing, if you know what I'm saying. As long as you make sure that you get a wig with wefts that are close together. But I know some wigs have wefts that are like an inch apart, which is no good for swimming. Like you do, I, don't, I wouldn't even wear that kind of wig to walk down the street because God forbid the wind blows and then all of a sudden your bald head is showing through the wig. That's not the vibe. This is a wefted wig. The wigs I was wearing in the other two videos that I made those were wefted wigs. It should be fine. So, all right, next uh, topic, Velcro straps. I know John Renault, Raquel Welch, they tend to make wigs with Velcro straps. Um, I don't like them. <laughs> so when I get the Velcro straps, I would normally sew the elastic into place. I don't like relying on the Velcro straps because once hair gets tangled into it, I don't know, and hair does get tangled into your Vel Velcro strap, it compromises it and you don't need any embarrassments. You just don't need the embarrassments. Um, also, be mindful of yourself. Um, there's certain things you don't want to do. You don't want to be doing flips and stuff in your wig, um, especially someone like me who doesn't like to glue down the wig in the nape of her neck. I definitely don't want to be like putting myself in a situation where my head is upside down because the weight of the wig will push it forward and it could pull the wig straight off your head, you know what I mean? So if you want to avoid that, definitely try uh, not to do things like jump straight down into the water. I do dive, and the reason why I feel comfortable when I dive is because the wig is being pushed onto my head rather than off of my head in this direction, you know what I mean? 
don't want that to happen because that direction will yank it straight off and like down the block. <laughs> so, so you don't want that. By the way, guys, there's people walking all over the place while I'm having this conversation with myself. So I'd appreciate if you hit like and subscribe because I'm doing a lot <laughs> to share this information with you, okay? Um, all right, so, oh, also, um, headbands. You might want to put a headband on because you think that it's going to hold your hair into place, which makes sense. However, there's the thing about wearing a headband. I feel like the, the headband kind of gives a false sense of security because you, you don't know what's moving from what's not moving. And I feel that same way about those wig grips. When I'm wearing a wig grip, I can't really feel my wig. So I can't tell when it's shifting, you know what I mean? All I'm feeling is the wig grip itself. And I like to feel the wig so I know without being too aware because if you're too aware of it then you're constantly you know worrying about your living you're not having a good time so you you want to alleviate as many problems as possible anyway at the risk of talking too much i'm going to end this video right here hope that you learned something from this video um and i hope that you enjoy the rest of this summer uh, life is too short to watch people splash and play when you can just splash and play yourself all right guys be great and have a wonderful night Bye bye